Hey, what's going on? I um, just want to share with you three things uh, my grandfather taught me as a child that I still live by today. And the first thing is always have God first in your life. Put God first in everything that you're doing in life. And as a child, I heard him when he said that, but I didn't really understand what that meant. I grew up in the church. I was in the church at that time. Um, uh, my grandfather, he passed away when I was in the eighth grade. So I had him um, at a very young age in my life. And the things that he taught me are the things that still uh, govern my life today, the things that I live by. And that first one is um, make sure that you keep God first in everything that you're doing. And as I got older, I started understanding more what he what he meant by that, by keeping God first, um, consulting God about things, about everything, um, praying and asking God about everything. And uh, sometimes we don't do that um, because we're so used to doing things on our own, um, living life, and we can get caught up in living life that we forget to consult him. Um, then there are times that we don't want to consult him because what we want may not line up with his will that we have for our lives. Uh, instead of um, allowing his will to be done in our life and our desires or whatever we want to line up with his will. Mm. Sometimes he'll give us what we want. It may not be good for us, but because uh, we want it so bad, we've been praying about it. Um, it, it. It may not be good for us, but God may allow us to have it because we've been praying and asking him for that instead of lining up with his word. So keeping God first in everything that we do. And I, not only did my grandfather say that, but I watched him live that. He he lived that. He was um, involved in the church. Um, he had a relationship with God. And so he was the great example of not just telling us what to do and how to live, telling me what to do and how to live, but being that example. And I can see it being done in him. All right. The second thing is... Um, Listen more than you talk. He says, son, God gave you one mouth, two eyes, two ears. He said, do less of what God gave you one of and more of what he gave you two of. He said, you can learn so much more from listening. You can't learn anything if you're always talking and, and trying to get your point across, across and running your mouth. And you're not going to learn much from that. He said, but if you listen you can learn more. You will also learn more about people by listening to them. And he also used to say this. He said, now, if you're dealing with a liar, you're going to find that out too. Because if you let a liar talk long enough, they're going to contradict themselves, which will be a lie. They're going to lie. And then you're going to be like, hmm, they just says something different. And he said, you don't have to point that out to them, letting them know that, hey man, you just lied about that because you said something different. He said, no, you don't even have to do that. He said, but you just remember who you're dealing with. Like you're keeping a mental note of, okay, this is how this person operates. All right. So learn to listen more. And what I've learned through that listening more um, it's definitely something that you, it's a skill that you have to work on because I had to remind myself to whenever I'm listening to people, listen to them. If that meant me forgetting about something that came to mind about what they're saying and I wanted to get my point across, if it came to me forgetting that, so, so be it. And then when that person gets finished talking, um, so what do you think about that? And if I forgot what I was going to say, I'll let them know. I, I just forgot about what I was going to say. Well, what was more important to me and more important to that person was you gave them their undivided attention, gave them your undivided attention to what they were saying, because they're probably going to want your feedback. And I'm the night I'm the type of person that I have no problem with letting a person know if I don't know an answer. I don't know. Um, I, I don't have an answer for you. Or if it's something I feel like, hey, why don't you consult God? Why don't you pray? 
and ask God to lead you in the decision that he would want you to go with. Because whatever decision that you make, you're going to have to live with that. Now, I'm not saying that I won't give any advice. Yeah, there's some things that I will give advice on. Uh, advice on, um, But for the most part, hey, that's something you should take to God in prayer. Pray, um, meditate on it, and allow him to um, uh, give you an answer to what he, um, he wants you to do. All right, the third thing was be respectful. My grandfather said, respect can carry you places that no amount of money can in some cases. Being respectful to people, to all people, not picking and choosing who you're going to be respectful to. I'm respectful to, I try to be respectful to all people, including kids. Because I feel you have to give respect in order to earn respect. Um, in my classroom, um, if I'm out on the basketball court, refereeing or officiating a basketball game, um, I'll say, yes, sir, no, sir, or Mr. So-and-so. And I'll be talking to the kids and they're looking at me like, mm, why are you saying yes, sir, to me? I'm being respectful, but you're older than me. And it's, surpri it's surprising to some adults because you don't hear that a lot. They're, the world is changing. The world is different. And a few years ago, I was at a drive through um, I think at McDonald's, I was at a drive through getting something after a game. And um, the young man that was taking my order at the window, he was very mannerable. He said, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, so when I got to the window, uh, I paid for my food. Then I took $10. I said, hey, I want to give this is for you. Don't put it, this is for you. He was like, what is this for? I said, because you are, you are very respectful. You said, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Have a good night. You are very respectful. And I want you to know that you are respectful. Your parents did a great job raising you. And there was a lady standing behind him um, at the drive through window, like right behind. I don't know if it, if it was his manager or who it was. And she would say, see that? See that, baby? See what I told you? See what respect would do for you? See how being respectful, what that means? And he was like, he was a younger guy, and he almost had tears in his eyes because of that, for me giving that to him. Um, I said, so continue doing what you're doing. That means a lot. I said, you don't hear that. I don't hear that a lot. And I wanted to recognize and let you know that that was very respectful. So be respectful to all people. And those three things, always keep trying to keep, always put God first in your life. Listen more than you talk and be respectful to all people. Those are three things, not the only things my grandfather taught me, but three things that my grandfather taught me as a child, I still live by today, which still governs my life. And I feel like those things have got me to the point to where I am. And I'm so grateful that he did as the Bible say, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he grow old, he will not depart from it. And I'm so glad that he did that with me. He took the time and he trained me and he taught me the, the um, fundamental foundation to life. All right. Hope that was helpful. Just want to share that with you. Um, if you have those same things, or what are some things that you learn as an early age that you live by? All right. Take you out on the next video. God spares my life. Hope to see you on another. All right. Take care. God bless.